entrance and exit gates and just kind of go on about my business as if nothing happened. But that was like the craziest, craziest, craziest experience I've ever freaking experienced in my life. Like, not really, but I don't know. It's kind of crazy, but kind of also fun too at the same time because I'm just like, dang, like what are the fucking odds of this happening to me like i've never really fallen asleep and a look like done nothing like that in my life i've never really had an altercation with the police well in a situation where the police um comes up and is trying to like reprimand me but i basically refuse to show my id and stuff I don't know, it was just really crazy. And by the way, guys, the state trooper, he lives in the apartment complex that I live in. I'm gonna add that to the beginning of the video because I don't think I let you guys know that. But yeah, he basically lives in the building. So him calling the other police somehow, I don't know why he needed to do that, but that's what he did. So that was just the craziest thing. And as far as my friend, who's not my friend anymore, literally, I don't fuck with him anymore this whole video i was calling him my friend for the purpose of this video but literally i don't want to see or speak to that guy again i don't want any kind of clarification about it if he tries to reach out to me or talk to me ever again then i just want him to know that i don't fuck with you i don't rock that way i don't you know i don't rock that way because i just think we're not really good friends i mean Obviously, we're not great of friends for you to leave me, for him to just leave me in my truck like that, to be in my apartment like that without me. And it's literally been like four or five hours that I haven't been around. And he literally is in my apartment doing laundry, probably make, helping himself to some food. You know, who knows what all he's up to. But I just found it really highly inappropriate and... I just literally don't fuck with him after that. And that's just it. You know what I'm saying? I actually haven't spoken to him since. I'm not going to call his phone. I blocked his number. I don't want any type of talk conversation about it ever. Like, I literally just don't want to be involved with that kind of person. Or even give him the opportunity to even talk to me again. To even know me anymore. Like, we literally don't know each other. Because anything could have happened to me. Not that you know anything did but just like it could have been a lot worse a lot more fucked up i could have been in a lot of trouble not to say the least and my life could have been in danger there's just so many ways that this story could have gone but i honestly feel that the way that it went with the with the structure of the story the way that it went that was like the best way that it could have played out for me like the best way that things could have happened. I'm just like, bro, like, you can't make this shit up. That guy is literally out of my life. And just, just over it. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this crazy story time. My life is... My life is a mixture of extremely, extremely normal things and some extremely, extremely awkward and embarrassing and crazy and wild and epic moments. But I live for the turn up. I live for the lit nights. I live for crazy adventures and I live, I live for the fun and the wild and crazy. So I just wanna embrace this moment and just share this moment with you guys and I don't know just trying to kind of get this off my chest like I feel better like the next day I pretty much wanted to forget the situation and then now today I kind of want to talk about it and get it off my chest move on from it make better choices in the future with friends and so on who I have around me and also um, guess I should uber Uber won't let me fall asleep in their back seat. So, anyways, I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.